It is Monday, and I am ready and raring to go. I'm John Zadar. I am the host of On Top and Hot, and this is Monday. It's December 11th. Now, on this show, I like to share with you hot OTC and penny stocks. We're talking about stocks that are under five bucks, can be found on any market, and I'm particularly looking at the ones that have potential to make us money. Now, when I normally find these hot penny stocks, I'm looking at the charts. I can go through a lot of charts in a short amount of time, and just at a glance, I can see if there's heat in a chart. You can see volume coming in, or if the price is about ready to break through the 200, or if it's just been a long run for days. Heat is easy to see. Well, once you find a chart that has heat, then take the time to go rummaging around through all the press releases and the filings, looking for a catalyst, looking for something that's going to spark that chart or keep it burning. Once you got a hot piece of news to match your hot chart, you got yourself a hot penny stock. And these are the sort of stocks I like to share with you. And I got one for you right now. So we're going to take a look at Orhub, ticker O-R-H-B. Now this company is in the medical sector. And if you know me at all, you know I kind of tend to shy away from medical companies, not because they're not making money. They are. There's lots of them out there making money every single day. Why do I shy away from them then? Because of the technical jargon. I have a hard time pronouncing these words. I don't understand half of what I'm reading. And then I got to try to explain it to you. That makes it really tough. But we can't ignore them, folks. So I'm always looking for one to share with you, each week at least. Well, I found a medical company here. Their chart isn't all that exciting. She's been in a downtrend, and she is going sideways right now, and she is right up underneath that 200, but it's not ready to break out. But she just did an acquisition last year. She got herself some patents, and it has opened up an entirely new market for this company, and they are going to be producing products the world has never seen, and we need them, and this is going to explode their revenues next year. That's why we're looking at it. So Orhub, she finished today at 3.6 cents and just a little over 11% gains. She is on the pink tier and current, and she's got both those green ticks we're always talking about. These are important. That's validated information. And whenever you're trading a pink, you're not getting any validated information, not even the financials in most cases. So whenever you see these green ticks with that pink, you know you got yourself the best you're going to get when it comes to a pink. So what is Orhub all about? Well, they tell us here they are a healthcare innovator. The company is implementing first-to-market solutions in the multi-million dollar biotech, fintech, and artificial intelligence markets focusing on two segments, regenerative therapeutics and digital payments. These segments utilize the same customer channels to commercialize solutions, drive revenue, and improve patient outcomes. Their digital payment service is just for their clientele, their customers, so they can get paid instantly and not have to wait for these big payments. The regenerative therapeutic division consists of pure biologics. That's the subsidiary that they got a hold of last year. This is focused on a portfolio of biologic products, devices, and proprietary technologies focused on spine procedures designed to aid in the regeneration of bone cartilage. And I've got more information over here. As you would expect, there is a lot of information we could go into. But I'm only going to highlight what I saw as important, so by all means, you follow behind me doing your own due diligence. So this company really does have a technology that we need. They tell us here that in the orthopedic surgery field, there are currently no products for cartilage repair, broken bones, or sore joints. The best we can do for them is put them in a cast or traction or pin them together with plates and screws or maybe give them an implant that might be inside their body. Now, Doctors and surgeons are relying more on biologics to get these problems solved. And they are relying on them so much that this market is growing incredibly fast. They predict it is going to be worth tens of billions of dollars in the next five years. And this company is going to be a part of that because of an acquisition they made back in 2022 of Pure. They got this for $8.5 million. And what they got were three very important patents which has made all of this possible. Two of these patents talk about the method, the composition, and how to manufacture ECM. ECM is extracellular matrix. 
All right, here we go. This is a scientific term, but I'm going to give you a layman's definition. Extracellular matrix are cells that are harvested from people and then stimulated. And they take those cells and they inject them into a bone matrix. Think of it as a bone putty. And then they inject that bone putty into the patients. And this helps the cartilage and the bones to grow. Now they've got one other patent here, which is not about ECM. This has to do with cosmetics and it is going to be for the activation of epidermal cells, skin cells. I don't have any more information about that and I haven't seen any products yet either, but it does sound interesting. Now where the ECM market is concerned, they are going to be concentrating on the top three categories in America, hip, knee, and spine, which is roughly about a $50 billion market. But of course, there's a lot of other markets they're going to be into as well. Now, the company is already selling their nearly two dozen products on the open market through their distributors, and all of their products regenerate cartilage, mitigate pain, and address the biological causes of degenerative disc disease and osteoarthritis of joints. Plus, the company has a complete biological product line just for the spine. Now, currently, they are updating their products. Pure is developing next-gen versions of its existing products to serve unmet needs and improve surgical outcomes in cartilage and bone repair growth. Now, what I'm about to read is the game changer. This is what sets them apart from everybody else. The company's low-cost platform technology enhances healing and can save the hospitals lots of money. The management's vertical integration approach to manufacturing could ultimately lead to above industry average profit margins, more money. Pure has solved the problems of manufacturing ECM from cadaver tissue, which are plagued by the risk of disease transmission from new viruses like Zika and SARS. Legacy technologies require obtaining many human tissues from donors, usually newborn foreskins, in order to manufacture human ECM. However, pure scientists have tapped the power of induced pluripotent stem cells to provide a safer source of cells from a single tested donor. These manufacturers were having to get lots of samples from lots of cadavers, lots of babies, and then do all the research and testing, all the processing. That was costing a lot of money. This is going to be a lot cheaper. They tell us they will be able to provide a safer source of cells from a single tested donor. That one donor tissue sample can effectively expand into a single sourced master cell bank, which has all been safely tested and is virus free. The company is also actively addressing the application of its ECM technologies for chronic pain and the opiate problem. Now, they aren't just working with biologics, though that is a huge market. They also have patents for some medical devices. And I love medical devices, folks. Medical devices, first off, get approved a lot faster than drugs do. Second of all, they are being marketed to the right clients the doctors, the surgeons, the hospitals, people who have money, people that really need these items. If you invent a medical device that can save the hospital money, make the doctor's job more efficient, and be safer for the patient, you've got a hit on your hands. And you're going to make a lot of money because every doctor, every hospital wants to save money, wants to be safer, wants to be more efficient. Now the company's got themselves a hot device this is the bone marrow aspirate device, known as BMAD. This is designed for bone and cartilage growth, like all their products are. This patented device, currently in research and development, activates immune cells from a patient's own bone marrow at the point of care. Think about that, folks. We're getting our cells from ourselves, not from cadavers or foreskins. And more than that, we're getting them here right now. We don't have to wait for them to come from a factory. They tell us that they then take those cells and they mix the marrow aspirate with a solid matrix for bone void filling that accompanies almost all orthopedic surgeries. The company has got themselves a hot product. Bone marrow aspirate is the gold standard for obtaining, harvesting, and delivering cells to a surgical site. The technology can prime and activate immune cells even in older patients. That is good to hear. 
This disruptive device technology solves the problems with centralized factories making immunotherapies that have driven the cost to between $100,000 and a million dollars a treatment. Unbelievable. These therapies will cost significantly less since they do not require centralized factory or complicated logistics. And something I haven't found a whole lot of information about is their digital payment facility. This is specifically for their customers. So they don't have to wait for payment anymore. They can get instant payment for all that they do. So there is more information we could go into, but I'm going to leave it right there and let you catch up with the rest. We're going to now jump on over and get some information on the stock. Jumping on back here to my old stomping grounds, the otcmarkets.com website. Honestly, this is where I get about 95% of all the information I get on OTC stocks. So looking at the relative volume for Orhub, over the last 30 days, she's been averaging about 60,000 shares. Today, she did about 80% more tagging on to about 110,000. Share structure for the company, we got lots of shares. Outstanding share count is about 800 million. They do give us a float down here, but it's a wee bit outdated, so I wouldn't trust that. Don't know what the float is, but we know it's not gonna be over 800 million. Whew, thank God for that, and it could be considerably less. Market cap for the company, we're at 26 million. Financials for Orhub. All right, I really don't understand the past years. I see that their fiscal year ends in June. So their last year ended June 2023, just a little while ago. And as you can see, they started bringing in some revenues, doubling whatever it was they were doing before. They hit $324,000. Quarterly, you got the same thing going on the past quarters. I'm not quite sure what that's about. But the last quarter in June, they did $212,000. Now, I could tell you about how they're making more money now by comparing it to the annual, but really, this is chump change. As you're going to see in the news, they are going to be making a lot more money in 2024. Checking out the company's disclosures. Uh-uh, we got nothing here since 2011. So let's just hop on into that news. So I've got news here going back to September. And there really isn't a lot of extra information outside of the headlines for most of these pieces of news. Looking at the one that came out in September, Pure Biologic secures innovative medical patent with strong financial upside. Now, as far as I can tell, this is the patent for that B-MAD device that we were looking at. But they are working on all of their patents right now, and that's why they're going to be coming into strong revenues. In October, International sales win for Pure Biologics. They tell us here that our recent ventures with Zimmer Biomet and Italian company BPB Medica have evoked broader international attention. And there's not much more to say there. Then in uh, November, Dr. Gail Naughton, world-renowned authority in the multi-billion dollar regenerative medicine market, joins the company. In December, the company continues to deliver sales growth, adding 14 major health facilities. They tell us here that Hippofy, that is their new name, by the way. They're not called Orb Hub, actually. They are Hippofy. Hippofy's wholly owned subsidiary, Pure Biologics, is advancing its distribution network with a significant expansion in California. Now, they don't give us any information or names or numbers here. I'm presuming it is with 14 major healthcare facilities. And then that last piece of news came out today. Hippofy ships international orders and expects sales to exceed $20 million in the new year. Do you remember what her annual uh, financials were? $312,000. And now we're talking $20 million this year. They tell us that Hippofy's biotechnology business, Pure Biologics, began selling and shipping products for international use, closing out a phenomenal year of accomplishments. These orders are a result of hard work and dedication from our valued distribution network, consisting of 250 distributors and over 300 sales representatives. The growth and accomplishments of Pure Biologics over the last 12 months are well beyond expectations. 
Our business is primed for strong sales growth in 2024 and expected to track over $20 million. We see significant upside for Hippofy and its shareholders as the market continues to embrace our technologies and solutions. In my opinion, folks, I think this is going to be a hot product. Consider the fact we've had no products for helping cartilage repair or broken bones or sore joints. Nothing. And they're going to bring the price way, way down. I think it's an opportunity in the making right now. And the company is opening up doors internationally and nationally for their products and they're catching fire. It's a good time to look at the company. Let's go take a look at that chart. So let's take a look at HippoFi over here at my free trading platform, Think or Swim. We're looking at ticker ORHB on a one-day, one-year chart. We've got a 52-week high in December last year of 20 cents and a slow, long, drawn-out fall to a 52-week low of 2.3 cents. She hit halfway through November. Coming down to our six-month, four-hour view, our high now is 15.8 cents, well above the 200. You can see she was totally flat right there. That's when she broke out. She came back down underneath it and she just couldn't get back up on top and she started slipping downhill to this low that she hit halfway through November. Off of this 52 week low, she is bouncing. She's crossed her 200 haul or 20 and her 50 and she is on top of her nine day right now pushing towards the 200. Our volume is a little thin. We could use more of that. Our oscillators. Our PPO is bouncing hard, but it's bouncing up slowly. Our MACD, it's just gotten across the signal line and its other line, and it is pushing up as well. And our RSI is a bit planted right now. She's cool down there at 54. Taking a look at our 20-day, one-hour view. Let's squeeze this up a little bit. So there's our 200. She broke through it with that big spike came down back to her 50-day SMA, and she's just laying here. She really isn't going anywhere. She's bounced off her 200 haul, back up onto the 50, and it looks like she's trying to press up right now. Now, she's very close to the 200. The 200 is still at a slant. I know it doesn't look like it's much, but a slant is a slant. As soon as this 200 starts to level out, and it looks like it's trying to right now, we could see this get up on top of that 200, and then she would start to climb easier, getting that big go gorilla off of her back. Our oscillators, our PPO is over the pink line and now pushing up slowly but surely. Same thing with our MACD, but our RSI is currently falling and that is down to 51 right now. And our five day, five minute. So our high here five days ago was just a little over four cents, coming down to three cents bouncing back up to three and a half cents. She's put herself on top of her 20, which is the strongest SMA on this chart. We don't have a 50, we don't have a 200. So she's gonna pay heed to this, which means when people are trading this, they're gonna be looking at the bigger time charts because you have more SMAs on there. Now she is showing tendencies of climbing very slowly right now. She could be changing her trend and you would like to get into this early. They do believe that this stock should be worth 37 to 47 cents. That's the price target for it right now. And with the next year coming up and revenue starting to grow, this would be a good entry point folks. Our oscillators, they're all a bit cool right now, but I'm really not expecting a run. I am watching her climb slowly and I expect her to get to the 200. And when she starts making money and we see a big number come up on those financials, we're going to see this thing take off and you're going to wish you were in at three and a half cents when they expect the price to be 37 cents. That's their low end of their target price. Folks, there is a lot more information to cover. There is no way I could go through all their information. If you like what I've been telling you, go do some more DD. Don't cheat yourself, folks. Remember, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See ya. Ti-da-di-da-doo-doo-doo-pa-pa-dum-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-